Hey, it's Pink Buddha, and I'm excited to tell you that the new Force update is out 3.2. Now we've kind of already had a spoiler on these features because most of them are the ones that came out with NPC earlier this summer, but that doesn't change the fact that it's really nice now to have them on the Force. So on this video, I'm gonna share with you a couple of the features that I find most exciting and a couple of things I would still love to see happen. All right, so let's jump in and check this out. Okay, so let's just jump on into this. So now these are my favorite things about the new update. And number one is the ability to rearrange tracks. And oh my gosh, and haven't we been waiting for this one for such a long time? Because the old method, huh, old method would be copying and pasting and deleting around, playing this game of leapfrog. And I wanna see a show of hands from anyone out there who's deleted the wrong track by accident. So now it's really nice. You just click on this up here and right at the top, you can change the position so you can move it around to wherever you want to and ta-da you're done see how simple that is love it oh and if you're jealous of this t-shirt that i designed you can pick one up for yourself i have a link in the comments and the description below it comes in a couple different colors and also with or without this lettering okay so number two favorite thing about this update is all the new plugins some of them you do have to purchase the main ones you can get are this NPC instrument collection. There are six different ones. There's the Fabric XL, and I did a demo for that one already. The Studio Strings, the OPX4, also did a demo of this one. Stage EP and the Stage Piano also did a demo of this one, and the organ. Oh, and then they have two new ones also, Flavor Pro and Mini D. And I will be doing a demo of all the presets for the Mini D, just like I did for the others. So stay tuned for that. If it's out already, it's gonna be in this link up here. Oh, and in this update, there's one more plugin that I think is worth noting. That's this new Touch FX. So previously the XY pad, it's amazing. I love using it. You can have all sorts of different types that you control through this, but they're really hard to map to like some sort of external MIDI device, super difficult. But with this new Touch FX plugin, you can now take these XY effects and more easily map them to an external device. For example, let's set up the touch effects to work for beat repeat. This slider here I've mapped to the time delay, like how fast does it go? And then used MIDI Learn to map it to the slider. And then I can control from here. And then just like on the SP404 where you turn a knob to engage it, I've mapped that as well. Super convenient. I created another touch effects iteration to use the tape stop effect. And I can just adjust how quickly it's going to happen and I engage it by hitting or touching this button. Oh, and also you get kind of a baby version of the Flavor Pro, the small one that comes stock. You don't have to pay for this. You only get one at a time, but you can still choose between a wide variety of ones that you want to include. And I just gotta say, these plugins are really an amazing step for Kai to add something to a standalone instrument like this. Because normally you just don't get that kind of stuff unless you're using a DAW. The machine comes close to that in terms of the Machine Plus, but to access most of the sounds that they have, they're just really very focused on computer-based DAW, not on like the standalone device. Okay, so the last thing I'm really excited about for this update is adding probability into your sequences. It's really easy to get to when you go to a clip, you click on the right here and just change this to probability, at which point you can select, you know, you got to select these first. So grab them, then you can move around to determine how often when you're cycling through, they might be played. The reason this is so great is because one of the worst things about loop based production is things can get really repetitive. Before this, I would just create really long clips like 16 bars where I could play the same loop over and over again and still have there be some variety to it. With probability, it kind of does that for you. So this is a really welcome feature in my book. Now, not a big deal for me, kind of a runner up a little bit is this new workflow where you have an ability to rearrange the screen a little bit and put items on the side here that you want to more easily access. So if you're somewhere else, you can just slide it over and then find them right away. You know, so I put a couple of things in there that I tend to go to most often, the pad mixer, macros, and the XY pad. I wouldn't put MIDI and learn in there. I just did that for this example, but it allows you to kind of get quickly to the things that are important to you. So I like it, it's cool. Definitely give it a thumbs up. It wasn't a huge shift and change, mainly just because the force has got so many buttons already. You know, like on the NPC, that makes a bigger difference because they just don't have as many buttons. Sure, I could put the mixer over something. I also just could click on this button right here or clips or the matrix. So I just put things in here that I don't have buttons for. So it's an easier way of getting to. Okay, a couple of things that I've really ooh, 
would love to see happening soon, please, Akai. And the first one is to be able to move these effects around. So let's say I put in something like this. There's no way to change the order of these effects. And this is like so important because unless you have it all planned out, if you're composing something on this, which is kind of what it's meant for, you're going to change your mind about what effects you want in there and what order you want them to be in. So I really hope that they change this soon. Number two is that MIDI Learn is pretty weak right now. So if you have another device like this and you want to program these buttons to do something or these knobs, you can program each one, but you have no way to limit or change or manually override some of these controls. I hope, I hope, desperately hope that someday that you'll be able to affect and control these MIDI features from an external MIDI in the same way that you can the macros because the force is like a macro powerhouse. And I hope that they bring some of those capabilities to the MIDI Learn feature as well. Okay, so that's a wrap. I'm curious what you think of this new update. Which features are you most excited about? And is there anything left that you would love to see happen on the force? Leave a comment down below and I'll see you on the next video.